the Cowboys franchise tag Dak Prescott? Does he pull Le'Veon Bell and hold out? Uh, thirty-seven million. It's a little bit different than what Le'Veon Bell would have been making as a franchise tag. Remember, there was a moment when Le'Veon Bell was rapping, freestyling in his front yard, uh, pretty good bars, by the way. And he said that he he needs seventeen M's or whatever. And he was talking about yearly. Now he held out and never got seventeen M's a year, but he did get over thirty million dollars with the Jets. Now he's on the Chiefs. Obviously, who knows how that's going to work out going forward. But for Dak Prescott, after that injury, I don't know if he can just hold out. I think. I don't know if you hold out for a year after that injury, it's in his best interest. And also it's like $37 million, which is a lot of money. And if they franchise tag him again, it's like 50 million or something like that. So it's 120 million over the next three years if they continue to franchise tag him or whatever. I assume a deal is gonna potentially get done. But in this market, Dak has all the leverage right now. There's a lot of teams that would love Dak Prescott. So if they don't franchise tag him, that that's going to get pricey. Those numbers are going to get run up. It's going to be a yodely, yodely, yodely situation, which is why everybody's saying Jerry has handled this completely wrong from Jump Street. But it's the same conversation every offseason. What is Jerry Jones doing with his team? So how many times can they – how many times do they have left to tag him? Two. I think Two you, I think you can only do it three times. It used to be like guys got tagged five times. Julius, didn't he? Didn't Julius Peppers? I think he Multiple. got. Yeah, I think he got four times or something like that. Vinatieri got tagged two or three times in a row. I don't know if it, maybe four times. It, it, it's interesting because it's supposed to grow or whatever there. But great, great advertising, by the way. But, I mean, we felt real good whenever we created that, that type of thing. But it, it, you can only do it three times now, I think. Or maybe it's two. I forget what it was. But there was a while there where guys were never seeing free agency and the franchise tag was like, nope, nope, nope. And the franchise tag doesn't account for bonuses. It's just salary each year, average of the top five. But it's guaranteed. Like once you yeah. sign the franchise tag, that's a 37 mil guarantee. Yeah. The question is, do you want to take that guarantee right now? And do you take it like a slap in the face? Like the team doesn't trust you to be the, the face of that team? Like, or are they, you're still on like a, a rental period to see if you're, you're truly that guy? Yeah, that would be 60, what, some million over the last two years or whatever. So, I mean, that's a lot of money, too, if you're Dak Prescott. I mean, 60-some million guaranteed over the last two years is the highest in the NFL, I would assume, over the last two years. I, I, I don't know if anybody else is up there and if they franchise tag him again, but it is the respect thing. It's like, hey, you saw what the team became without me. Last year, you could have paid me. The year before that, you could have paid me. I was, what, a fourth? What was he? The second, fourth, third, third, third round? round? He was a third rounder. His rookie contract was not that great. Now, although being the Cowboys' starting quarterback is very nice for exposure and national marketing brands and everything like that, but at some point, Jerry's going to have to pay him, and the longer he waits and the more his team be, it was a disaster without him, it, it's only getting more and more pricey for him. What if is he going to come back and be the same guy? Yeah, he'll be good. He'll be great, right? Yeah. I think it'll be the same guy, but why Why do you think Jerry's waiting? Because the longer you wait, the higher the price tag is for quarterbacks and Dak Prescott. I, you know, everybody's going to say that Jerry loves Dak. Jerry loves Dak. Oh, I love Dak. My family. He's like family to me. Remember Jason Garrett? We didn't fire him for five years because he was family to me. I loved it. Everybody says that Jerry loves Dak. Jerry loves Dak. Jerry loves Dak. And it's like, okay, cool. We love Dak, too, here as fans, but you're signing everybody else to five-year deals, four-year deals, and Dak isn't getting it. And then Jerry gets kind of pressed a little bit whenever he was doing a uh, Salvation, Army. Salvation Army event on NFL Network. And I thought we were here talking about what we are doing for society, but, I mean, if we're going to talk about Dak, okay, uh, I just want to win a game is what he said. So maybe, although Jerry likes Dak a lot, Winning is the over. If Dak goes on and wins this year, maybe Jerry will be like, that's what I'm looking for. But I think Jerry realizes, like everybody else realizes, that if, if Dak reaches free agency, there's going to be a lot of teams that want Dak Prescott on their team, and that is going to get very, very, very expensive. So Jerry's just kind of sitting on his yacht, wasting time here, thinking about what he wants. And there's 31 other teams, not 31, because there's, there's 25 other teams that are thinking, like, if Dak hits the market, we got to think about some things here. Well, so Jerry, what is he? He's probably mid seventies right now. How old he is? I, I mean, in my head, I just looked at his face that I saw last, and I was like, probably seventy eight, okay. seventy eight, late seventies. Seventy eight. So he's thinking like, okay, how many more chances? How many more windows does my the Dallas Cowboys team have while I'm still running the show? Like, and does he want to move on from Dak and try to find a way to bring someone else in? Or if you go with Dak, it's like, hey. Dak's our guy. He's my he's he this is my chance. This is our window right now. I gotta go all in. Yeah, why doesn't he just bring in Ryan Fitzmagic and just get oh, on just geez. get on with it? Oh. 
<laughs> see you in the Super Bowl. Hey, let Dak play for the Colts, dude. We'll see. Hey, we'll see if he's going to bounce back. Yeah. Huh. Hey, we'll see if he'll bounce back up here in Indianapolis, you know, with a great offensive line, good mm-hmm. culture, a defense that, that flies around, goes to work every single day, accountability, a team that can go on a run. We'll, we'll do that for you, Jer. You just get your guy down there that you want to have. Yeah. Ain't that right, Ty? Yeah, maybe extend Dalton. Yeah, get the, get the red rocket out Ooh. there.